morning. Welcome. We have a really good turnout today. And it's a slightly different network event to some of the others in that it's, it's a sharing of good practice. We have people here from the national program talking about updates for EIP, for early intervention psychosis. And also we are discussing the initial findings from our Southwest peer review. I think one of the main highlights from thinking about the peer review process is that there's a load of good practice out there which we've discovered through this and it's now about trying to work out how we're going to share the good practice and learn from other people's experiences. The peer review process, it really helps with thinking about what I might be doing differently and what might really make the difference uh, to achieve outcomes. Today I'm here to meet with the Southwest EIP network. Um, I work um, in two policy areas, one around improving physical health for people living with SMI and the other around individual placement and support. I'm going to be touching on what the national picture looks like currently, what NHS England is doing to actually addressing these policy issues and sharing best practice as well. I was here today to talk about the successes um, that we've had since the introduction of the Early Intervention Psychosis Standard. So it's been around for about a year now and there's been huge gains in terms of getting people access to early intervention psychosis teams. And I also talked about some of the successes in providing good quality care as well. I also talked about some of the amazing opportunities, I suppose, for teams and providers and their commissioners to work together to start focusing on next year and some of the investment that they need to do that. The changes that we want to make in our trust are to maintain the values and ethos of a comprehensive early intervention service. And we have always prided ourselves on being a very client-led, family-inclusive, creative team. I have to talk to my finance colleagues and to the rest of the CCG that this isn't just about a referral to treatment time target, but it's actually about the quality of the service as well. From a North Somerset level, uh, we want to be trying to make sure that we're, in, uh, we're, we're providing our core business of early intervention for psychosis treatments. So around providing um, good quality safe services uh, that are meeting the needs of our service users, um, but it's about us not losing sight of the core business, which is around the provision of the engagement opportunities and the, the therapy through the CBTP and the family interventions work, which we know also has, has really, really good, good impact on people's recovery. Um, I suppose in the current climate for us it is about maintaining that core business and the safe quality service. I think um, hearing about tools such as the Matrix tool where live data can be inputted and actually seeing about how you can improve the services as well. So I'm really keen to hear about the tools that they've been using locally such as the Rethink tool which is capturing physical health assessments for the individuals and really it's just great to be here and meeting people and networking. I think uh, it's been really good to see um, one of the carers here and hear his story because there's nothing like hearing people's stories to bring things alive as to why you're doing it. Sometimes with commissioning it can get a bit data heavy and you'll be receiving requests from NHS England all the time, are you hitting the targets? And actually it brings it back to the real life as to why you're doing it and their stories and that's the important bit.